Hi, my name is Denise Torgerson. I am the Community Programs Manager here at Prince George Hospice Society and I'm just going to talk to you for a few minutes about what we do. My role is the touchy-feely stuff. Prince George Hospice, um, a big part of our care is uh, the psychosocial and emotional support we give to people um, in the community, in hospice house and in grief support after their person has passed away. So it starts in the community, I think, with um, people as they're diagnosed with an illness and reaching out for support because when that diagnosis happens, their whole world changes. Sometimes we help them navigate the system so that they can um, talk to the right person, get the right answers, and um, get the resources that they need. That happens in the community. Eventually, they might choose to move into hospice house for their end of life. And in the hospice house, we do a lot of, uh, I would call it caring for people there, meeting people where they are. We can't fix anything. We can only just support people as they journey towards their, their end and support their family. So it can look like a long conversation. Sometimes it can look like um, holding somebody's hand. Sometimes it look, can look like getting somebody some cookies and a cup of tea. And sometimes it can look like vigil, sitting with people while they're at their end of life and just silently uh, holding space for them as they get ready to go. Afterwards, we do grief support. So we have a number of grief support programs that we run here. And we are uh, trying to make it available for any, anyone in the community, not just people that have been in hospice, but we have grief support for children, for adults, for specifically for men, specifically for people who have lost someone to um, a drug overdose. Um, and then we do one-on-one -on -one. hospice care is about caring for the whole person, not just the pain, not just the symptom. Um, it's not just about the treatment. And that when we work together as a team and everyone does their job well, and everyone's very good at doing their job at hospice, um, it can make for a gentler transition for guests and therefore for the families that are with them. Hi, my name is Wayne Zacharias. I am an RN at Rotary Hospice House. Uh, I have been doing this for six years. Um, hospice is a great place to work as an RN because of um, the level of autonomy we get, which means that um, we have to make a lot of decisions um, by ourselves, which is pretty cool. We assist people during their last um, bit of life. The nursing role at hospice is very broad. We get to do lots of different activities, um, lots of different types of procedures. Um, it stays interesting because of that, uh, which is good because I get bored quite easily. We help people with their pain, their nausea, um, whatever other symptoms they may have at end of life. We communicate with the family, make sure that they're at peace with the process. Patients come to hospice for a variety of reasons, um, pain control or other symptom management, um, respite care in case their families need a break. The type of care we give to the patient depends on um, where they're at in their disease, um, why they're coming to us. So my job as a nurse lead, one of my jobs as a nurse lead is to um, talk to the doctors, listen to who they want to come in here and make the decision based on priority, based on their needs. Um, I'm just one member of a team. You know, we work with a bunch of fantastic people, grief support, care aides, other RNs, administration. Everybody works together to make sure that uh, this very challenging time in the patient's life is, goes as smoothly as possible.